Hello, uh, I'm Gordon Savicic. I'm here at the Coded Cultures Festival. I'm standing here with Philipp Lammer and we are part uh, of the Ludic Society, which is a which, as the name implies, is a society consisting of about 50 members. And we recently developed a, a project together with Margarete Jamon. It's called uh, Toy Genosonic, and you will see it uh, right here. My colleague, Philipp Lammer, has uh, a standard interface here in his hands. It's basically a Nintendo DS, the black thing here. It's a, a standard game computer, a game console and it's getting extended by uh, a reader, which we built. <laughs> a standard interface, a Schwarzgerät, also, also so-called. And you can literally inject it into the DS, as demonstrated by my colleague. <laughs> you want to say some words? What yeah. does it do? <laughs> it clicks. Okay, but what and, does it use uh, it? It's a RFID reader. You can read text. Like, I'm gonna switch it on so you, you can see it uh, functioning. So you can read um, RFID text. Please come here. We have one implanted here. And if you get close to it... <laughs> no, where is it? Yeah. The light flashes and it reads um, the ID of the tag. So each tag we scan has a unique ID. Mm -hmm. There is no one that has the same number. Mm -hmm. And we use um, this to generate um, unique uh, sound objects. So each tag you scan creates um, a unique sound object. And, and you can do that can on the street. It? You can do it. Anywhere. You can do it anywhere because it's like um, it's made for mobile gaming. It lasts very long, so that's also the reason, probably, why we used uh, this device. Uh -huh. It's basically an urban game because uh, RFID chips are ubiquitous by now or in the near future. You will basically they are tagged on products in shop market stores, in passports, in travel cards. Uh, so they are quite ubiquitous and. Yeah. Well, exactly. That there's a spiral feedback of technologies and of concepts, I would say. So starting with a standard technology like this radio frequency yeah. identification decks, which are an everyday technology in, in the passports already, for example, of Austria and that Marks and Spencer in England and at certain places on goods and then feeding it back into an art system modifies the technology not necessarily in terms of technology, but in use. So it's differently used mm -hmm. in the art context. And then it is fed back. In, in gamers also like to play it. And then you also have theoreticians who can communicate with the society members, for example. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there is a discourse starting, but sometimes people are just complaining about the theory. And uh, so it is a constant loop of feedback. So it goes back to everyday life on different levels. But is, are the borders um, are going down and everything is sort of the same? Or is it more like, a, is it art field, society, gaming society? How, how would you describe the processes? Are they intertwining or are the borders falling and there's going to be one society playing? No, no, no. There never will be one society. <laughs> no. There will always be a lot of uh, several societies within a society. No, no. I don't think that the borders are falling down. It is just that we are virally um, g going into different existing societies. Art fields will always be the art field. I think that's a question of a market and separation. Even if they talk about, or everybody talks about interdisciplinarity and transdisciplinarity, but this means that disciplines are still there and societies are still there. Mm -hmm. So it will not be one thing that's also not the target of unified society, but the interconnected society. Okay, I need your hand one more time. Like we scan it, and I'm coming a little bit closer with the mic. Hello. <laughs> so, do you see it on yeah, the Yeah, I camp? see it in the ear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the object that is uh, being created. You can touch it, try to catch it, and if you touch it, uh, it remembers how you touched it and repeats uh, the pattern. Okay. So these objects have um, their own uh, circles, which are running uh, their own system. They die after a while, now it's gone. We can uh, 
get it back in. You see it's the same object because it's the same uh, tag. Mm -hmm. Different tags create different objects and um, if we would have more tags, which I have, one second. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. <coughs> like um, I, I attached one here, so we read it. And then this one's a different uh, thing. Okay, now it becomes a musical instrument, basically. Or yeah. Can, yeah. I, can I also leave marks behind for other players? Can I? Yeah, for example, we left in, well, in urban space, you can. We made several uh, versions where we played it in the city and we were tagging in uh, Aarhus, for example, on certain spots small marks with stickers where you can use the city as instrument as well.